six months ago, in fact, six months ago right now, I was in Europe. We had landed in Paris after the long flights and the exchanges and all that kind of stuff. And then we went to bed rather early because of the time gap. And so going to bed, I woke up at like 2 o'clock in the morning. I don't know, 3 o'clock in the morning, I laid there for a half an hour or so. I read for a bit, thought to myself, wow, I'm in Paris. I looked out the hotel window, which was a beautiful view up towards Montmartre with the lights on it. And I thought, you know, I'm going to go for a run. I told Debbie, Debbie, I'm heading out for a run. She said, isn't it still nighttime? I said, yeah, it's like 2.45, 3 o'clock, something like that. So I headed out for a run. I took off. Down in the lobby, I asked, you know, how far is Chance de Lose from there? They said, it's pretty far. I said, okay, well, I'll check it out. We were staying not far from the Opera House, and so I took off past the Opera House, which was beautiful, lights off at that point, you know. Went down towards Chance de went by Cartier, went by all those places. Suddenly, I'm at the Chance de Lose. I'm looking straight down at the Arc de Triomphe. And, of course, I only thought one thing, well, I've got to run all the way down to the Arc de Triomphe. And I took off running, and as I ran towards the Arc de Triomphe, no one out, Champs-Élysées completely empty, one of the busiest streets in the world, running down the middle of the road, I thought to myself, I'm a runner again. Here I am. It had been six months at that point since I'd started working on my weight loss, since I'd started trying to get back to running. I thought, I'm running in Paris by myself towards the Arc de Triomphe. I'm a runner again. That was six months ago. I've been running now, and now I get to run out here amongst the oranges and the orange groves. I get to see the beauty of what I enjoy so much in Riverside in this last little orange grove that we have left. And it's the morning of a good Friday. I'll be preaching twice today. If you have time, come on out at 12 noon, the time that traditionally is marked as a good Friday service because we believe that's the time that Christ Jesus was crucified. But I thought about the prayers many people will be making today. Many people will say the Lord's Prayer. Others will give thanks to God for their salvation. Others will ask God for the things that they've wanted for so long. I think a great prayer for this Good Friday would be not unlike the request that I made running down the Champs-Élysées towards the Arc de Triomphe. Not that I was finished, but that I was becoming. I was becoming a runner again, something that I had always been in my heart and inside, but I'd covered it up with just consumption and laziness and all the other things I'd been doing for the last year. And many of us, we come to Good Friday and we've let a lot of stuff get in the way. Just garbage has gotten in the way of our relationship with the Lord, of our spiritual life. And I think a great prayer for today would be this, God, what would you have me become? And then to open our hearts to listen. Just a simple prayer. God, what would you have me become? I think it's so easy to see the world overwhelmed by old, angry men. And forget that Jesus was just 33 years old when he was crucified. When he brought this wonderful gift of salvation to each one of us. When he opened his arms and said, and if I, if I'm lifted up, I will draw all peoples unto myself. Not just some, not just a few, but I will draw all peoples unto myself. And that includes you. So if that includes you, and if you believe that even a tiny part of that promise might be true, why not wake up in your darkness today and head out towards that dis distance that may seem very far? Understanding that your triumph may be just down there, some great arc de triomphe for you and say, Lord, what would you have me become? I believe he wants you to be the miracle in your family, the miracle in your neighborhood, the miracle in your life that you need so, now, so much right now. I think you're amazing. I'm ready to share that miracle with you. I can't wait to hear all about it. I hope you'll tell me. Share it in the comments. Don't be afraid to like this post, to share it with your friends, to start to subscribe. Hey, we're nowhere near the number one motivational or inspirational channel on YouTube, but boy, are we looking up because we want to be motivated in two minutes. God bless you. Have a great day. Come on out for Good Friday.